Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Angel and today I'll be sharing some more fun and simple DIYs. To start these snowmen projects off, my first two DIYs are inspired by these beautiful crafts made by Kathy Riley. We met here because of YouTube and Kathy is a very talented artist and crafter and a new friend of mine. So I wanted to try and dupe some of her adorable snowmen. The first project is these little adorable snowmen from Target Dollar Spot. And instead of painting these white, Kathy actually whitewashed them. So I went ahead and watered down some of my white chalk paint and I'm just going to go over each of these and then I will let that sit for a little bit and wipe off all of the excess paint with a paper towel. Now these little snowmen are cute enough to just sit out on your shelf but Kathy actually made these into ornaments. So once my paint was dry I went ahead and drilled little holes through their hats so that I could hang these. Then I'm just going to use some tape on some Dollar Tree string and I'm going to wrap that tape around the edge and and this is just going to help me thread this through the top of their hats. And once I get it through, I will just tie those up to make these into ornaments. Now, Kathy actually used a Dollar Tree transfer to put the snowflake and the joy on her snowman. But since at the time I didn't realize I had that transfer, I just went ahead and hand drew a snowflake. And then for the second one, I just added little buttons. And finally, Kathy had a little ribbon tied to her snowman string, so I went ahead and used some of this Dollar Tree ribbon to tie onto mine. This next snowman inspired by Kathy are these adorable wood snowmen. Now I believe she used 4x4 four four posts for hers, but I had some scrap 2x4s laying around. So I went ahead and whitewashed both of those just the same as I did the snowman. And then I'm going to be using this Dollar Tree burlap and this Dollar Tree fabric. Now to start, I'm just going to go ahead and wrap that fabric around my 2x4 and I'm going to cut it down the size that I need. And then as you see here, you can tell that I am going to fold up that edge so that this looks like a little snow cap. And once I cut that down, I did end up folding the the very edge of this in and hot gluing it just to give it a clean edge. Then like I said before, I just kind of tucked this under itself and then I'm just going to wrap it around and hot glue it in the back. Then I pulled all the fabric to the top and I'm going to use some of this twine to tie around and make a bow. And then I just cut off all of that excess fabric at the top, just leaving a little bit sticking out. Then I went ahead and cut down some of that Dollar Tree burlap ribbon and that's what I'm going to use to make the scarf for these snowmen. And I just used one of my paint markers to make the little eyes and then I'm going to use a really tiny brush with some of my orange paint to make his nose. Now I believe Kathy used a stamp for her scarves on her snowmen and I did go ahead and use a stamp for the second one. It was a joy stamp but for this one I just did a little hand drawing of a Christmas tree. And that was it. This is how they turned out. For this next project, I picked up some of these wood pieces from Dollar Tree and I'm going to go ahead and pick out some pieces to make two little snowmen out of these. Now for the bottom parts, I am going to mark them and I'm just going to cut those little pieces off at the bottom so that these can stand up. 
and I just used my miter box saw to cut those little bottom pieces. Then I'm just going to use a combination of wood glue and hot glue to put these together. Now if you wanted to, you could definitely make ornaments out of these and you wouldn't even need to cut that little bottom piece off. While the glue was drying, I went ahead and went in with some of my white Waverly chalk paint and I'm just going to very roughly paint the center of these wood pieces. Then I'm just going to use some old thrifted sweater remnants to make their hats and their scarves. If you're ever looking for a really cheap way to get fabric or sweater fabric to make winter projects, definitely check out your thrift stores. You can buy really cheap sweaters and get tons of projects from them. But all I'm doing here is just kind of hot gluing and rolling up those pieces of sweater. And then I'm going to hot glue the little scarf to my wood pieces. To get that frayed look, you can definitely just take some scissors and snip the edges to make the scarf look frayed. Then I just cut down the other piece of sweater fabric where it had a hem and I'm making a little hat. I just hot glued it to the back and the front and then I'm going to pull that sweater material up and tie it with some twine. For this next project, I'm going to be taking another thrifted sweater and I'm going to make a stuffed snowman out of this. Now all I'm going to do is take one of my little dinner plates that I have and I'm going to use that to make a circle around on the sweater. Just make sure that you have your sweater turned inside out so that the markings are on the inside. Now once I have the circle drawn out, I am going to go ahead and cut this, but I'm going to cut it just a little outside of my markings. And then for the second circle, I'm just using this little bowl to make a smaller circle. And again, I'm going to cut this just a little outside of my markings. Then for the head of my snowman, I'm using that same bowl, but this time I'm going to cut inside of those markings. And you should end up with three circles that look like this. Now at this point, you can go ahead and do a no-sew option, which is just stuffing the center, pulling it up, and using some clear little rubber bands to tie it at the top, and then pushing it down into the center. However, I am going to go ahead and use a sew option for this, so I'm just using some yarn and one of my yarn needles that I got from Walmart. I have these linked below and I'm just going to go around the perimeter with my needle and my yarn and you just weave this in and out of the fabric. Now once you get all the way around, you can start pulling on your yarn to tighten this at the top. And then we're going to go ahead and use some stuffing. I'm just using some old pillow stuffing. You can definitely use plastic bags or cotton balls for this or polyfill if you want. But I'm going to go ahead and split this stuffing up and I'm going to start stuffing and pushing this toward the outside. I'm going to grab about a handful of these little Dollar Tree rocks, put them in a plastic bag and tie it up because I'm going to place this down in the center of this bottom portion just to give it a little stability so that this can stand up. And then once I have that placed down in there, I'll go ahead and use some more of my stuffing to fill this up. Then I just pulled that yarn really tight and I'm going to tie a bunch of knots at the top. Once I had the bottom piece finished, I went ahead and did the exact same thing for the middle and the top piece. Then I just had to hot glue all of my pieces together. Now again, to make the hat and the scarf, I'm going to be using that same other sweater remnants that I used in the project before. For the hat, I just cut off the sleeve and it ended up fitting quite nicely over the top of the snowman's head. So then I just had to pull up the top and tie it with some twine. And as you can see, I did roll it up a little bit and then I just added some hot glue to make sure this would stay secure.
Then I just used another piece of the sweater to make the scarf. And again, I used a little bit of hot glue to secure this. Now at this point, you can go ahead and do whatever you'd like with your snowman. I ended up just adding some Dollar Tree buttons to the scarf and the hat, but you can of course add a face if you'd like or any extra details. For my next project, I made some of these little stuffed snowmen last year, but I wasn't really happy with them. So this year I'm going to be using some of that sweater that I thrifted and I just drew out a little template and I'm going to trace around on the sweater to make my snowman. Again, just make sure that your sweater is turned inside out so that your markings will be on the inside. Now I probably should have pinned this before I cut it, but you're going to make sure that you're cutting both the back and the front of the sweater. Then go ahead and flip your pieces of sweater so that the right side is facing outward and you're just going to hot glue all the edges together leaving the bottom open. Once I had it all glued, I'm going to go ahead and use some more of my old pillow stuffing to stuff this. Again, you can use cotton balls or anything you have. But this time when I made my snowman, I learned from last time to keep the stuffing out of the hat and it makes it look much better. And another thing I learned is you don't actually want to overstuff these. You only want to put just a little bit of stuffing and you want to try to make sure that you are separating that head and the body part. To make these stand, I'm just going to be using some bamboo skewers and I'm going to cut those down, hot glue those up inside of my snowman, and then I'll use a little more hot glue to close this up. And then this year, because I have an excess amount of these little wood pieces from Dollar Tree, I'm going to use two of these for the bases of my snowmen. Now these are super soft wood and it's really easy to make a little hole in these. And then you can just put the stick down inside of there. But before I do that, I did want to dress these up a little bit and also I wanted to add a little more separation between the head and the body. So I'm just using some of this really thin Dollar Tree string and I'm going to tie it around the neck and then I'm going to be using some of Dollar Tree's burlap ribbon to go around as a scarf. Now you could also add some little buttons to this, but I didn't want to cover up my sweater material too much because it was so pretty. So I didn't add any buttons to these this year, but I love the way they turned out. And that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.